Hello, Happy New Year. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and that 2023 is going to bring you everything you've ever wanted. Now, one of the things that I got for Christmas this year was this beautiful bird's calendar. And this has kind of inspired me to start a new series of videos based on the beautiful birds featured in this calendar. So every month I'm going to turn the page and see what bird is recommended to us by this calendar. So let's dive into it straight away and see what the bird is for January. And it is... The mallard. The mallard is the most common and widespread duck in the UK. They can be found across Europe, Asia and North America. They've also been introduced to South Africa and Australia. The mallard is a dabbling duck. This means they feed mainly on the surface of the water rather than by diving. The sight of a mallard's tail end pointed up in the air while its head is searching for something under the water is a familiar sight. The mallard is a wild duck but it is the ancestor of domestic ducks and the gene pool of wild mallards has been intermingled and somewhat polluted with domestic ducks and other waterfowl. It is a very adaptable species and is able to thrive in many varied habitats and as such is considered an invasive species in some areas of the world. These mallards are able to breed with wild ducks of closely related species to produce fertile offspring. This hybridization can threaten to cause the extinction of many indigenous waterfowl. Mallards are a familiar sight in parks, both country and in urban environments, so familiar that they can often be dismissed as uninteresting by some birdwatchers. But as with most familiar sights, we can often forget just how beautiful they actually are. The male mallard is unmistakable with its bottle green head and white collar. Even the less brightly coloured female has a wonderful speckled brown coloration. Both sexes have a patch of white bordered iridescent blue feathers called a speculum on their wings. I think they are fully justified to be included in the beautiful bird's calendar. Well, as easy as it can be to ignore the mallard in favour of rarer birds, there are sure to be many bird watchers and nature lovers that got their first taste of wildlife while feeding the ducks at a local pond as a child. Although if you do this, please don't feed them bread, it's not good for them. Instead, you can feed them sweet corn, lettuce, oats and seeds. In the wild, a mallard's diet is fairly flexible, but is usually made up of gastropods, insects, crustaceans, worms, seeds and other plant matter. Plants seem to make up the majority of a mallard's diet, with the exception of an egg-laying female who increases her intake of animal matter to over 70%. Mallards will form pairs at the beginning of the breeding season in October or November and stay together until the female lays eggs at the beginning of spring. Nests are usually on the ground where the female's speckled feathers act as great camouflage in vegetation. The female typically lays around 8 to 13 eggs which hatch after 27 or 28 days. Ducklings are able to swim as soon as they are born and they can fly after around 50 to 60 days. A mallard will reach maturation at 14 months and they typically live for around 3 years but have been known to live up for 20. One reason for the shorter average lifespan are the numerous predators mallards have to deal with. Birds of prey such as owls and peregrine falcons as well as corvids and herons will prey on mallards or their eggs. Mammals such as badgers or weasels might take a mallard, wild and domestic cats and dogs will prey on them but the red fox is probably one of the biggest predators of mallards. Out on the water, the mallard is not safe either. Otters will take mallards, as will large predatory fish such as the pike. And of course, humans will hunt ducks too. To help avoid all these predators, mallards sleep with one eye open, allowing one brain hemisphere to remain aware while the other half sleeps. This behaviour is thought to be present in many birds, but it was in the mallard that this behaviour was first noticed. Well, I hope you agree that the mallard is a great inclusion in our monthly Beautiful Bird series, inspired by my calendar. Well, I hope to see you next month for February's bird. Until then, please do leave a like if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe so you don't miss out on all the other wildlife related content coming up this year. Well, Happy New Year and I hope 2023 brings you much joy, happiness and of course wildlife. I'll see you soon.